Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings. And today in our series, ABA for Homeschool, I wanna go over behavior skills training. So behavioral skills training is a system of teaching that can make sure that the learner then walks away with the information that they need and are able to demonstrate the skills that you are trying to teach. So how that applies in homeschool is exactly the same if you were teaching adults or training providers to work with individuals you're still gonna go through the same steps. They just may look a little bit different. So the first step in behavioral skills training is why? Give a rationale, why are we learning this lesson? Why do we need to know how to write a cursive letter E? Why do we care where the capital is on the map? Those types of things. Explain why it matters to the kid relate it to something that they're interested in, um, appeal to their sense of interest and um, make it engaging, make them want to learn. The second thing is what? What exactly are you trying to teach? Boil it down to, you know, here's the key points. Uh, we might look at a subject and say, well, we just need to learn everything. Well, let's break it down into smaller pieces. What's today's main goal? Let's pick one skill or one fact, um, maybe a couple of facts depending upon the age, one big topic. But what is the takeaway that you want people, you want your learner to walk away with? Now, when you give that information, you want to both say it and write it out. So here I'm giving you an example of how you might write it out, provide it in a written format as well. Now, once you go over what it is, you want to show how. How do we do this? How do we perform this skill? Or how do we remember this fact? Show them, show them a trick, show them how to do it. With cursive, I model it a couple of times so that I can demonstrate the action of what, um, how to make that shape. Then we're gonna practice, provide opportunities for practice. Just telling somebody one time is not going to make it where they can necessarily remember or perform that in the future. But with practice, they will get better at it and they're more likely to be successful in the future. The final step is feedback. And with feedback, we want to be giving positive feedback while also still helping someone along with a piece that they may not have gotten. So we're not trying to criticize. No, that's not it. Do it again. Try again. We want to say positive. Oh, you almost got it. Oh, that's so close. Remember, it's this other one. Um, let's practice it a few more times. And with those steps, you can teach any topic, really, um, using a curriculum or something on the side that you would like to teach separate from a curriculum, but going through those steps, explaining why we want it to learn this skill, um, what the skill is, showing them how, practicing, and then giving them that positive feedback as they improve. So today, that was behavioral skills training for ABA in homeschool. Thanks.